In this video, we will take a look at how to test Node.js API with just mocks and super test. In the last video, we explored repository pattern. One of the benefits of the repository pattern is testability. The repository pattern facilitates unit testing because you can easily replace the actual data access logic with mock data for testing purposes. In our test code, we will replace repository methods with a just mocks so we don't need the database for testing. Let's go ahead and look at the server.ts file in a SRC tests folder. Here we have two tests. One is the health check that returns 200 and the other one is message endpoint says hello. We can remove the message endpoint test because we no longer have message route. As you can see, we are importing super test and the create server function from server super test calls create server function makes a request to health z endpoint and expects the result is 200 and the body ok is true super test allows to make api calls to our api without us spinning a server by running yarn dev command we will create tests for our travels api endpoint in the similar manner using super test before we start writing tests, let's do a couple of things. Let's go to just reset.js file in the root directory, and then we need to update module path ignore patterns to include fixtures folder. The next thing that we're going to do is disable error logging when node env is test. Let's go ahead into middleware folder, errorhandler.ts, and we are going to put the following code in there. We will only be logging the error when the node env is not test. By default, just sets node env environment variable to test. Now let's go in a tests folder and create a new folder called dash dash fixtures dash dash. Here we will be putting our test data. In fixtures folder, let's create new file called tours.cs and we're going to put the following code in there. We will export const tour of the type of tour attribute. We'll put ID, travel ID, name, migrate tour, starting date, ending date, price, created at and updated at. So we are going to return data the way it is returned from the database. Now in the fixture folder, let's create travels.cs file and let's put travels test data in there. And first, we will import tour sample data that we just created, and we're going to export const travel, the type of travel attributes. Going to have ID, name, description, slug, uh, number of days, and then we're going to have property tours, our includes property that will include tour, and then is public true, created it, updated it. Again, we created travel sample data. Uh, the same way we're expected it to be returned from the database and from our uh, travels repository. Finally, we are ready to create tests for the travels API endpoint. So in the tests folder, let's go ahead and create a new file and it's going to be called travels.test.ts. Let's go ahead and start writing the code for this file. Let's start writing the code in travels.test.ts file. So first, we're going to import super test from then we're going to import create server function we're going to create travel repository we also will import travel sample data from the fixtures and we're also going to import connection refused error we are going to use this error to simulate database error now we're going to mock the travel repository class and we're also going to have a const get all method there will be a just function so simply is going to return undefined at this point and then get by id and we also make it just function and now we're gonna create a mock implementation for the travel repository we're gonna return get all and get by id functions or methods at this point get all and get by id methods don't have any implementation and are returning undefined it is also important to clear mocks before each test. So we're going to have a before each function and we're going to clear mock for travel repository for get all and get by ID methods. Let's go ahead and create a describe block. 
it will list travels endpoint and it's going to have it returns travels test we'll do get all and we'll mock implementation by returning a promise that is array of travel attributes and we will return array of the travel mock data now we're gonna spin up the super test call create server we'll do get v1 travels we will expect the response will be 200 and then in the response we can do a couple of assertions we're going to expect that the body travels that length will be one we also will expect that the body travels will not have property created at because the travel resource is removing created at and updated it you can also make an assertion that travels uh zero doesn't have property updated at now we're going to make an assertion the tours length to be one here, if you wish, you can make some other assertions, but we will stop at this point. So the next test will be it returns no travels. Again, we will mock implementation for get all method of the repository, and we will return now an empty array. And now in the super test, we again expect 200 as a response code. Then we're going to expect the body of travels of length to be zero finally we will test that when the error is thrown we will correctly return the response so we're going to be creating an implementation for get all again and now we're going to be throwing an error that will be connection refused error and then the connection refused error error message will be connection refused and what we're going to be expecting is for our API not to break, but properly process this error and return 400. So in the super test, when we call get v1 travels, we will expect to have a 400. And then our response, that body, that error, that message to be the error message, which is connection refused. Because as you remember, in our error handler, we return the error object with a property message. Now let's go ahead and check if the tests work. But before it looks like we have an error in our file. Let's uh, see, we're importing travel repository from RDS repositories. However, we need to import it from the repositories. And this should fix the error. And let's go ahead and save the travels.test.ts file. Now let's go ahead and run yarn test. And fingers crossed, everything should work. And it looks like we got an error. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So if we scroll up here, it tells us that it cannot find mod module repositories RDS in the mock. So let's go ahead and update it as well. We put the wrong path to travel repository when mocking travel repository. Let's go ahead and delete RDS and save it again. And let's go ahead and run yarn test again. And as you can see, all tests have passed. We have two test suites. So our two files, server.test.ts and travels.test.ts. And total, we have four tests and four of them passed. Now let's go ahead and create tests for get travel endpoint. So this is will be get travel by ID. So we will put describe block that says get travel endpoint. And we'll create the first test. It returns a travel. We will mock get by id method and in this method we're going to be returning um, just one travel and now we'll use super test we'll hit the v1 travels endpoint with the id we'll just put whatever id we want in this point i'll just put a b c d we will expect 200 and in the response we're going to expect property travel we will also going to expect that this property travel not to have created at and then we're gonna pretty much stop right here but you can write more assertions now we're gonna create another test it returns 404 not found so now we're gonna implement get by id but in this case we will return null the same way the database or repository will return null to us if we cannot find uh, the record by id in the super test, we're going to get create server. Again, we're going to hit the endpoint v1 travels with an ABCD ID. And then we will expect 404. And in the response, we're going to expect to have a property error. And then we're going to have error code of error not found. Remember, 
we created a custom error that would return error code error and f when we cannot find a record. And this is what we'll do it for get travel by ID tests. Let's go ahead and run the tests again. We'll do yarn test. As you can see, all the tests are passing. We have again two suites. Now we have six tests all and all of them have passed. Now for sanity check, let's change the error code from R and F to be, let's say, R and A. Let's save it and let's go ahead and rerun the tests again. And as we expected, we have a failure. And if we look right here, that it was expecting the R and A, but we received R and F. So we are returning R and F, but expecting R and A, which is incorrect. So it means our assertion is working, right? And if we have a different assertion, right, we gonna have an error. So let's go ahead and put it back to R and F, save the file and rerun the test. And again, all the tests have passed. This is how you can test your API using super test and just mocks. I hope it gives you a good primer so you can write tests for your own API. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.